Hello everyone, my name is Elliot and welcome back to another Spiral Stage Lighting video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to create keyframe shapes on Avalight's consoles. <laughs> Before we begin, I've just got two things to say. First thing is, pens are now on limited time only, so when they've sold out, they've gone. And um, the second thing I just wanted to say is, we have now got our own Discord server, so if you would like to join it, the server link will be in the description. Basically, you can ask us or others questions, or just chat about lighting or production work. And yeah, basically it's just based around production work. And um, yeah, so I hope to see you on there. And if this video helps you, please like and subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So right now I am on my live stream show file on my Titan one. And yeah, today I'm going to be showing you on how to create keyframe shapes. Before we begin, I just want to explain about keyframe shapes. The feature can speed up your programming so fast, it's incredible. So yeah, you can create all sorts of looks in it and yeah so let's begin so i'm just going to quickly go on my groups and palettes and put my visualizer up so you can see what you're uh, see what's going on so the first thing you want to do is press shapes and effects press keyframe shape and then press create now you're in the keyframe shape creator um, so now let's just create our first look. So I'm just going to simply do a s simple on and off chase. So there's my first look. I'm going to press add frame. And you can see my first look has been programmed in. Now I'm going to turn them off. Put that in. And now you can see my second look has been programmed in. So now what you want to do is press finish recording frames. And let's put the viz and effect editor up now here's my effect editor and there's the visualizer as you can see it's just simply going on and off but you can make this effect look much better so as you know the shape generator on the on Avalites has a feature called phase and basically this makes the effect look more fancier so I'll just show you now um, if I just put this up you can see the effect um, it looks much better um, so all I'm doing there is just changing my phase um, you can also change the direction um, I haven't actually edited my layout so it won't look as it's um, pixel mapped it'll look the same but yeah like I said um, I haven't edited my layout but to do that effect and um, to change the directions um, just edit your group layout on the pixel mapper and yeah, you can also change the fade um, and the snap and stuff like that. So you can change this into the first part, um, a snap and a fade out. Or you can just change them both into a snap. And you can also change the speed. So I can put my effect to 100 BPM and uh, 50 BPM. I think the max speed on the keyframe share uh, on the effect editor is... 300 bpm um but yeah um like i said you can do all sorts of effects in this um you're probably wondering why don't you just use the shapes and effects and shape generator well you can do all sorts of stuff in here you can change the um fade time and also the snap and stuff like that and yeah this is also like creating a chase um because if you wanted to you could create a chase in here so like odd even odd even and it'll go into an odd and even effect and um you can also use it for time code which is really good and you can also put this in cue lists um so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video please like and subscribe if it helped um and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>